Hey guys, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're going to talk about Liberty. <clears throat> I live in Minnesota, and the governor has just issued a mandatory mask order that will go in effect today, Friday. He issued it on Wednesday, so about a day and a half ago, give or take. And today is Friday. I'm going to try to get this out Friday evening. But tonight at 11.59 p.m., I believe, the mask order goes into effect. It's a mandatory mask order. Now, regardless of how you feel about masks and if you think they're a good idea or not, I happen to think they're a terrible idea because uh, you have a 994 give or take percent chance of never getting and or surviving coronavirus. So it doesn't really seem like that big of a deal to me. That being said, regardless of how you feel about the mask orders or whether or not you want to wear a mask, if you want to wear a mask, knock yourself out. Here's my main gripe with the issue. We've somehow entered this time in American history now where governors make up laws. I would like to remind you from your ninth grade civics class or whatever you took, hopefully you took a civics class in high school, uh, that we have three branches of government. We have a legislative branch, we have an executive branch, and we have a judicial branch. The legislative branch legislates, that's usually made up of a group of people, right, like Congress or a House and the Senate. We are, have a bicameral kind of uh, parliament type system in America. So we have two houses, right, we have the House and the Senate. <clears throat> and that branch usually has the most power, okay? Especially when you look at the original founding documents of the Constitution, the Congress has the most power. We've entered this time, particularly since the nuclear age, where the legislative branch has ceded more and more of its power to the executive branch. And then the, since nuclear power, that's been going that way. And then once we hit 9-11, uh, that really swung that way, right? And now all of a sudden the president is the one who decides whether or not the country goes to war or not, or calls troops home or not. You know, we've been in uh, Afghanistan my entire adult life. We've been at war. That's crazy. And that's because the executive branch decides whether or not we do that. And this legislative branch, branch has ceded all of its authority. Huge mistake. Huge, huge bad thing. So here we are now where almost, give or take, half of the states don't have a mask order and half do. And all the ones that do, as far as I know, have one because the governor said so. So the governor has made up a law uh, and issued a consequence for breaking the law. And that's it. That, that's, that's a law now, because one man or woman decided it was the law, it becomes the law. Now, in case, again, you don't remember, that's not how we make laws in this country. We make laws when a deliberative body, the legislature, decides on a law, they vote on a law, and then they pass it to the executive branch to either accept or veto, right? And then ju judicial branch decides if that law is in fact in accord with the founding documents of this country, namely the Constitution. That's how government works. That's how the Constitutional Republic works. And if we're not doing that, we're not doing a Constitutional Republic. I don't know what we're doing, but it's not America. Okay? So, uh, if you haven't thought about this, I really would invite you to think about this. I, I do guns primarily because I'm concerned with liberty. I like shooting guns. I like teaching people to shoot guns. I, I really enjoy that. But liberty is the philosophical foundation on which I'm basing all of these actions. I majored in philosophy in college. And that this, is, this is an important thing to have a philosophical, theological foundation for what you're doing. I realize most of us don't have that. That's a different video, a different lecture. Point being, I would invite you to really consider why we are ceding this power to a governor when one man or one woman can make a decision on a whim and it affects your life is that still america is that what we signed up for is that this thing that we all agreed to do and i would argue no no it's not we have a word for that in america and it's called tyranny that's the word it's tyranny when one man or one woman can make a decision, there's not a deliberative process, there's not a legislative process, that is legislation without representation. That's what that becomes. And that becomes a very bad problem. So if you haven't considered that before, if you haven't thought about that before, I would invite you to. I would invite you to strongly think about that. Governors don't make laws. That's the whole system. If, we're, if governors are making laws, I don't know what that is, but it's not America. It's something much more akin to a communist dictatorship or perhaps a socialist dictatorship, right? Uh, perhaps a Germany Workers' Party dictatorship, okay? Uh, whatever it is, it's not 
America. So again, I would consider, I would challenge you to think about it. If you haven't, leave a comment. And uh, remember, this is still America. We are a country of laws. We are not a country ruled by individuals who decide what you can and cannot do. That is not life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Do brave deeds and endure.